Hey guys, this is Mitch of All Trades and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching um, this video. Thank you for clicking on this video actually. Thank you for being a part of the family. If you have not, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be dropping content regularly just to educate you guys, share my story, and just vibe, you know what I mean? In my previous video, I talked about misconceptions about IC nurses. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about misconceptions of ED nurses. So if you don't know, I've been working as a nurse for five years. My first two years, I worked as a med surge nurse. And then my second two years, I worked as an ICU nurse. And now I'm currently working as the emergency department nurse. If you want more information about it, I'm going to attach this video up here. I up here, up here, one of these. In my time working as an ER nurse, I have been able to see the other side of the spectrum, the other side of the coin, and see what these people be talking about when they be talking about ED nurses. Honestly, I'm a very neutral person. I find I just go with the flow. I'm well okay with just blending in. As much as I don't really like change, I'm okay with blending in and being able to adapt to my environment and make it the best experience for myself. That's something I try to do for myself to be able to adapt to new environments and still be able to benefit from it. It's almost like, well, if I don't like this place, I'm gonna get something out of it anyway. Um, I'm gonna make sure that it benefits me. That's kind of like the mindset that I have most of the time. So working as an ED nurse, there are some misconceptions about it. I'm just going to talk briefly about it and see if they're true or if they're not. The first misconception is that uh, ED nurses don't do anything. Working in the ED, it's almost like a game of prioritization. It's like who needs the care first? Um, and because of that, a lot of things we kind of just, you know, push back to the bottom of our priority list and some medications that you know they can survive without they can survive without taking for a couple hours like their vitamins or something we just tend not to give it to them at the moment we try to prioritize doing the most important things for them getting them as stable as possible and sending them to a unit um so it's not that they don't do anything it's just that their priorities are not your priorities so another misconception is that ed nurses are very disorganized and chaotic and i will say coming from the icu i can kind of uh, see where they're coming from i am a germaphobe and i don't mean that in a negative way but it's just like i love i like to be clean um i always contact trace my contacts where i touch who i touch make sure that my hands are squeaky clean like i i especially after covid i've just been very very aware of that kind of stuff so a little bit of this organization a little bit of like chaoticness does trigger me in a big way where i'm very mindful of that so in the ed it's not that they're disorganized but it's a lot going on it can be a lot of things going on at once as far as like you know throwing out flushes or like your iv caps or all of that stuff like that is not the priority in all ed is really all about prioritization it's not and i'm not saying that to say that other floors are not but it's like you receive so many patients and you have to prioritize who needs care first and even whoever you're giving care to which medication which treatment which activity which skill do you need to do first um, and that all trickles down when you have like five six patients you're taking care of a lot of people a lot of patients you just end up doing what's the most important thing for them at that moment and then whatever can wait you just leave that up to the nurses in the units another misconception is that ed nurses do not chart at all from my perspective i think we chart less like there's not much requirements for us to chart whereas in the units there are things that you have to re you're required to chart so i think because of the different responsibilities in terms of documentation it seems like ed nurses don't chart at all meanwhile they only chart what's important like i said prioritization is really what the main goal is here in the ed what do i need to write now if i don't need to write it now that they had a colostomy bag and put in two years ago and it was reversed like that kind of stuff like if that has nothing to do with the chief complaint then I'm not gonna put it now. You can put it when you go upstairs. Another misconception is that they send their patients up <sighs> in a hot mess and they leave things undone. I think that's um, in a unit where rush is accepted, like rushing things is accepted and like a little disorganization is accepted. 
um, I think people can misuse that and just dump some things over to the inpatient nurse. Um, I will confess and say I've had my fair share where certain things maybe, nah, I don't think so. I mean, I haven't worked there that long enough. Maybe I might slip up one day and do something, but it is true and possible that sometimes because of just how fast things are going in the ER, you might find yourself, you know, just being like, you know what, the, they can handle it upstairs. This patient is dying, this patient is sick, this patient is that, they can handle it upstairs, they'll have more resources upstairs. And I think with that mindset, a lot of times patient might come upstairs as a hot mess. Um, I don't even know how that can be rectified. I just think that's more so of just how life is when you work in the hospital a lot and especially in the emergency department a lot of things are unpredictable so you can't really predict how your day is going to go in order for you to make time to do certain stuff so if like things just start things just you know mess up and something happens and you can't fix it but then there's more sick people coming in you kind of have to just toss that hot potato upstairs and when i mean hot potato i don't mean that they're very unstable i just mean like whatever you couldn't finish down there you just got to leave it upstairs for um one of the inpatient nurses another misconception is that ed nurses have adhd <laughs> that's messed up not all of them have adhd but i do think ed nurses to be ed nurse you need to enjoy the chaos of it you need to enjoy always being on your feet I have a very chill personality so it's not by force that i have to be on my feet however being on my feet does help me stay awake but like it's not by force but people like to always be on their feet they don't like sitting down they don't like they like to just be very very active and i think also a lot of ed nurses i've noticed they run on lots of energy drinks and coffee and caffeine and i don't know if that's just nursing as a whole but i see that a lot amongst emergency department nurses where they're just so sprung up on caffeine and energy drinks and i think because of that they have so much energy they have so much energy to do stuff and like keep up with the fast environment with the incoming ambulances and incoming emergencies so like don't say adhd that's messed up um i don't have much to say but if you do have something to say feel free to comment in the comment section below um if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you share with your friends make sure you um just stay plugged in like if you have any questions or any concerns or any contributions feel free to leave it in the comment section i'll definitely respond to you thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so much um let's get this channel to 10k subscribers i'm tired of being in the 1k like i don't know let's get it to 10k we will get it to 10k before the year ends that i am gonna speak out in faith we'll get it to over 10k before the year ends all right i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye